Today, I shall teach you about the sketcher in CATIA V5R21, which is the base of your part modeling when you start. When we open this CATIA software after clicking, double clicking on it, and when you open a new file, click add file here and click on new file. So, a new dialog box appear and on the video where you click on part of them. Part. Here, part is here and it is selected. Click OK. Another box is appear where you have to give a name. So, give the name and I am giving this part. The name is Sketcher. OK. And uh, check this dialog box. If you want to create a geometric set, create an auto geometric set, it's up to you. If you want to do not open this dialog box again and start, you have to check this box and it's up to you and i will tell you about uh, geometrical set and auto geometrical set in later and this dialog box appear which is uh, as usual a part design the workbench and here is the icon of your workbench here you see this and uh, you know this is the terminology tree here all the work what you have to done as appear here which command you use uh, appear here and uh, these are the you can see here these are the plans which is very important when you start sketcher it's up to you which plan you are selecting and make a sketch basically sketch is a very important play a role in making a part modeling in this lecture i tell you about sketch and their basic and later on i will tell you about more about sketcher so these five Toolbars, constraint, profile, operations, relimitations, and sketch tool play a very very important role in sketching. Whenever you make a sketch, you profile making is very very important, play a very important role. Today I will discuss on profile. And here these are commands which are used to make your profile. And there are different profiles, rectangular, circular, SP line and ellipse, line and axis and there are a lot of um, more commands are here and uh, relimitations command are important after profile and operations uh, i will tell you about uh, constraint the role of constraint in sketch the sketch tool what you play a role here when you click on it and uh, all the grids are off and when you click on it and this checkout and uh, all the grids are on and when you click on snap on the point these snaps your cursor and your sketch are snapped here and whenever you meet here the sketch is made up here these are the you can say construction and standard elements when you made uh, your line visible or invisible and when you click on it and um, you when you made a sketch and here is a part design uh, here is a visualization uh, whatever whenever your sketch is going to be wrong and uh, you want to make it uh, good this are uh, the normal view and you click on at the tip of this arrow and your sketch is at normal view here you want to rotate and zoom in zoom out and fit in all here is the another toolbar where you want to create document new document save and quick points and paste and redo undo are and um, measuring instruments are here which are used usually in uh, uh, part design and here is the visualization tools describe this channel and uh, we will tell you about more, more about uh, this part design in later